Have you ever thought about starting a business but had doubts because you don't have enough money? Well, if so, then this video is for you. I'm gonna give you some of my favorite takeaways from the book, The Power of Broke by Damon John, which is all about all the ways that being broke might actually make you more likely to succeed in business. And I know that sounds a little crazy, but hear me out because I'm gonna prove it to you. If you don't know anything about Damon John, he was definitely not always a big shot like he is now. He's a guy who came from a poor neighborhood in New York and started designing t-shirts and selling them out of the back of his car in mall parking lots. Eventually, his parking lot t-shirt business turned into a super successful clothing brand called FUBU. Now, in addition to running FUBU, Damon is a venture capitalist and one of the stars of the hit TV show Shark Tank. That's the super short version. In the book, Damon tells his own story in detail and also the stories of several other super successful entrepreneurs who started from nothing. I really like this book for two reasons. One is that he shows you in a really compelling way some of the practical things that you can do to start a business with hardly any money. And then the second reason is just pure inspiration. If you don't have much money and you feel overwhelmed by the idea of starting a business, then these stories about Damon himself and all these other entrepreneurs that started with nothing and became super successful will be awesome motivation for you to get rid of your excuses and start taking action. So let's talk about why being broke might actually work to your advantage and how you can use it as much as possible to build a successful business. Reason number one is that you have a connection to other people who are like you and you can understand them. I mean, unless your business is selling yachts or country club memberships or something like that, chances are most of your customers are not super rich. They're just normal people. It's easier for you to understand their hopes and their dreams and their fears and their frustrations and their doubts because their situation is like your situation. You know your people better so you can serve them better. And if you know what they want and what makes them tick, then you can do a much better job of marketing your products as well. In Damon's case, he was selling his clothing to urban black Americans like himself, while his competitors were a bunch of rich old gay guys in Europe. They could spend money on surveys and market research and focus groups all day long, but they could never get close to the same level of insight that Damon had from having the same life experience as his target audience. And the audience notices too, starting from zero gives you that authentic street cred that money just can't buy. Think about it, who would you rather buy from? Some giant faceless corporation with a whole bunch of money or a normal person who understands you who created a business to sell products with you in mind? Okay, now the second reason that being broke can actually help you is because it forces you to prove your concept before you can scale. What that means is that if you don't have a whole bunch of money to spend, you have to create only a little bit of your product or market only a little bit of your product at first so you can see if it works on a small scale. So if if you think about a big clothing company with a whole bunch of money, if they want to try a new design, they'll dump a whole bunch of money into hiring high-end designers to create the design, then they'll get a whole bunch of that design created, then they'll send that design out to all their retail stores, and then maybe put them in ads and catalogs. And then if people don't really like the design that much, well then they just wasted millions of dollars on something that nobody wants. But Damon proved his concepts. He had to because he was broke. He would pay a local tailor to create a few shirts and then he'd go try to sell them in the mall parking lot. If nobody liked the designs, he would only lose a tiny bit of money and then he would go back and try something different. Or if he sold all of the 10 t-shirts he just printed, he would go back to the tailor, he'd spend that money that he just made and get more t-shirts made in the same design. The takeaway is that if your business or your service or your product or whatever it is that you're selling doesn't work at a small scale, then it's not gonna work at a big scale either. If you can't sell 10 t-shirts, then you're definitely not going to be able to sell 10,000. Being broke forces you to start at a small scale, so it's literally impossible to waste a whole bunch of money doing something that doesn't work. And then when you find something that does work, well now you're making a little bit of money so you can afford to go back and try it on a bigger scale and your business explodes. By the way, I use this proof of concept stuff everywhere in my business. If I buy ads, for example, I spend only a little bit at first and see how it performs. If it doesn't perform well, I change it and try again. And then when I find something that works, Works, I can put more money into it at very little risk because it's already proven. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button because it makes YouTube like me better, and hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you don't miss anything that I'm putting out in the future. And if you think somebody else might benefit from this, hit that share as well. Now, the third reason that being broke might actually help you is because the less money you have, the closer you have to be to the customer. So let's take my example with the ads one step further. Let's say you don't even have the 50 bucks to test a new ad set. Well, then how are you gonna show your product to your customers? Probably, you're gonna have to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. 
And that could be in person, like selling from your car in a mall parking lot. Or you could find people in your target audience on Facebook or on Instagram or on web forums and start talking to them. This is awesome because it forces you to get to know your prospective customers intimately and you get real-time feedback from them. You can tell by their interest level if what you're saying is something they like or something they don't like. And you can tell if what you're offering is something that they like or they don't like. Think about how much better you're going to know your customer than if you're some hotshot ad executive sitting at the top of some high-rise building planning the next $10 million TV ad campaign. Now, I should mention that technically, any big company or rich businessman could do the strategies I'm talking about. It's just that it's very hard for them to go back to that broke mentality when they're sitting around in a swimming pool of $100 bills. Damon said that he struggled with this a lot after his company became successful. If you have a lot of money, it's a big temptation to just throw money at every problem that comes up. But he says whenever his business started to lose momentum, he'd have to go back to that old broke mindset and use the same strategies he used by necessity when he was broke because that's the foundation that he built his success on in the first place. So if you want to start a business and you don't have fat stacks of cash, I highly recommend and you read this book. Don't think that just because you watch this video you know everything about the book. There's a lot more details in there and also it's really inspiring. It'll really help you get rid of your excuses and see that you can be successful and you can find ways to build your business and find customers without spending a lot of money. And I didn't really talk about the stories of other entrepreneurs that Damon talks about in the book, but he talks about a bunch of different people in different industries who got rich because they used to be poor and they use that as an advantage rather than an excuse. So definitely read the book. I'll put a link in the description below. And I want to ask you, what's the biggest thing holding you back from building the business or doing whatever it is you need to do to get the freedom that you truly desire in life? Let me know in the comments because it really helps me to help you. And if you want to learn some specific ways that you can make money even while you're broke, check out this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe because I got a lot more great stuff coming for you.